Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn the relation between electric field and electric potential and also we are going to learn how to derive it. So here what I have done is I have considered two equipotential surfaces. Say this equipotential surface I call it as A, another equipotential surface I call it as B. Say the potential of equipotential surface B is V. Okay. Potential of equipotential surface A is V minus dV. There is a small difference between electric potential between those two equipotential surfaces. Say this is the direction of electric field. Electric field, let it be upwards. Electric field is upwards. This is the direction of electric field. Okay. Now, what we will do, we will consider a unit positive charge here. We will consider a unit positive charge on equipotential surface A. And now we will try to bring this unit positive charge to the equipotential surface B through a perpendicular distance dx. Say dx is the perpendicular distance between those two equipotential surfaces. Then in that case, what is the work done in this process? Okay. That small work done dw because the separation between two equipotential surfaces is very very small that is dx. So that small work done dw is equal to basically it is the dot product of force and displacement f dot dx. Now if you observe here we are displacing the unit positive charge downwards electric field is upwards so angle between them is 180 degree okay and uh, since there is a it is a unit positive charge what is the force on unit positive charge force on unit positive charge is equal to q into e correct now what is q here q is equal to 1 therefore f is equal to e in the place of f okay i can write e okay E, okay, F dx cos theta, F means E, E into dx, okay, E into dx into cos theta, what is the angle between electric field and displacement, 180 degree, force and displacement, 180 degree, cos 180 is minus 1, so therefore, I got dw is equal to E dx, I will name this equation as equation number 1, say this is equation number 1. <coughs> I don't need this, I'll delete it, okay. And uh, how to calculate, One, there is one more method to calculate work done, what is that? Work done equal to charge into potential difference, okay. We'll write here, also, also, we know that, also we know that, work done equal to charge into potential difference, Vb minus Va, Vb minus Va. Okay, so that is equal to, what is the charge that we are bringing? We are bringing unit positive charge, 1 into Vb, potential of equipotential surface B is V minus Va, what is the potential of this surface? Va, V minus dV, V minus dV. So here what happens, V minus V gets cancelled, minus minus becomes plus dV, dW is equal to dD, dV. So here dw is equal to minus e dx. Using one more method, we got dw is equal to dv. So equate. Okay. On equating 1 and 2, from 1 and 2, what we can write? From 1 and 2, what we can write? <coughs> dv is equal to, dv is equal to minus e into dx. Or this implies directly, I can write, e is equal to minus dv by dx. e is equal to minus dv by dx. Any physical quantity with respect to distance we call it as gradient like velocity gradient. This is potential gradient variation of potential with respect to distance we call it as we call this term dv by dx as potential gradient or I call it as negative potential gradient. If you remember unit of SI unit of electric field E is equal to f by q Newton per coulomb also you might have um, uh, seen somewhere electric field SI unit is volt per meter okay that comes from this equation this equation means that electric potential decreases in the direction of electric field thank you very much